Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just have a very short video. Um, the Lord had put upon my heart to speak about sin. And the other day, he was putting upon my heart to remove all hidden sin. Um, I know that, at least for myself, um, I've been going through a refinement process for many years. <laughs> I guess I needed a lot of work. God forgive me. Um, but he was putting up upon my heart about removing all hidden sin. And I believe that some people think that they can sin and that God doesn't see their sin, but God sees everything. And God knows everything. He is omnipotent. He is omnipresent. And um, so he was putting upon my heart the other day about hidden sin and um, to remove sin in general. general. Um, also, he had given me a word about fasting and repenting of sin. Amen. So he had also put upon my heart the word limpiador, which in Spanish means cleaner. And the Bible says um, that we have to be cleansed without um, spot, wrinkle, or blemish. Um, so I just wanted to share with you what he put upon my heart. He was speaking to me about a specific person, and I won't, <laughs> that would be really not right to mention a name, um, but he compared it to an apple. You see here in this video, a beautiful red apple. And the other day I was eating an apple and it, it looked similar to this other than the green leaf. And I was like, um, bit into it, you know, and in my opinion, there's nothing worse than biting into a nice, uh, what appeared to be juicy apple. And on the inside, it was soft and mushy and somewhat brown. So the Holy Spirit was comparing this also um, to the scripture you can find in Matthew 23, verse 27 to 28, speaking about whitewashed tombs. Um, on the outside, they look clean, but on the inside, they're dirty. And he was speaking of the Pharisees. Um, but I want to read you also um, Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Um, so we all sin. We all fall short of the glory of God. Um, I can speak for myself and say I need all the help I can get from Jesus. Um, and if you go to the scripture I just mentioned, um, Matthew 23, chapter 23, verse 27 to 28, 27 says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto white, whited sep sepulchres, um, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanliness. Um, 28 says, Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypo hypocrisy and iniquity. I'm reading out of my King James Version Bible. Um, I did not have my new King James Version with me today. Um, so I wanted to share that. Um, Jesus was speaking to the Pharisees. So on the outside, they look clean, he was saying, but on the inside, they are filthy. Um, so he wanted to, for me to share um, the apple analogy. And one more that he led me to, Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um Galatians chapter 5 verse 9 and it's talking about a little um, leaven leaveneth the whole lump um, just like the apple you know it's beautiful on the outside shiny and and um, it looks amazing from the outside um, 
but on the inside, it was rotten. Um, and this is talking about um, a little bit of leaven. Kind of ruins the whole batch of dough. Um, so they're all comparing um, the analogy of sin and about removing sin. Um, and a lot of times, you know, when we go to God humbly, repenting of our sins, asking him to help us, because some, you know, some sin is difficult for people to let go of. Um, but it is important for us to grow spiritually and move closer to Jesus Christ and, and grow in our walk as Christians to um, do our best to remove sin. And, you know, Jesus can do the rest. Jesus is amazing. Um, he is a just beyond measure. So I wanted to share that with you. I know it's just a little a little um, teaching, but um, he just leads us all. Um, God bless you all. I love you all in Christ, and I hope your day is blessed. I claim a healing over you, body, mind, soul, and spirit um, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and all who's watching. God bless you all. Amen.